One hour later.
agent down. Agent killed. Rogue striker drone detected. Rogue agent eliminated. Agent down. Nearby rogue agent killed. An agent needs assistance. Rogue agent neutralized nearby. Now detecting contaminated gear. Rogue striker drone. Gear detected. Rogue stinger hive detected. What's up, guys? I'm coming at y'all with an AR's Ridgeways build. Um, it's been a minute since I've ever used Ridgeways. Uh, last time I used it was with a Hunter's Fury build that I posted on the channel a couple months ago. Um, since then, I just haven't laid my eyes on Ridgeway. I uh, came back to the game and made the ARS Ridgeway build, and I've been loving it ever since. Uh, now, I do run the FAMAS and EB with this. You can switch that out for whatever. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Um, but FAMAS is definitely preference for me. But if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. As all support is appreciated, we just hit 600 subscribers, which is an amazing milestone for myself. Never thought I'd be here, but without further ado, let's get into the build. 
looking at the Famas, we do have Optimist on it with damage targets of the cover and the minor. I normally would run in sync, but um, when I came back, I just, I don't know. I, I just like holding different angles now, and the shield can't provide that sometimes, so I can't run in sync a lot. Uh, my back, I do have the EB just to get me out of jams and situations that I can't necessarily control, like 1v4s and shit like that. Looking at the pistol, it is vindictive. Now, when you do down somebody, if you finish them off with the pistol, you will proc that talent just because he's bleeding on the ground. You know, that's just how it works, I guess. Okay, moving on to the mask. I have armor rolled with crit chance, crit damage, and crit damage rolled into the mod. Pretty straightforward mask. Says it's pretty much essential in all the Star Rifle builds. Maybe not all of them, but most of them. Uh, looking at the chest piece, it is Ridgeways, obviously. Uh, repair 30 to 40% of your armor for every second for every enemy that is bleeding within 15 minutes. So basically what that means is, you do not have to apply that bleed, okay? It is not you who has to apply the bleed. You can, because you have Ridgeways on, but it can be your teammate from shooting somebody else with the, if they have Ridgeways on as well or just someone using a skill to proc their bleed. Long as the person in front of you is bleeding, you will get that Ridgeways buff. Now that obviously that is increased for how many players are in front of you. So at five people, you get 40%, obviously. Looking at the holster, it is a grupo with armor, crit damage, and crit chance. Looking at the knee pads, it is armor, crit damage on Fox's prayers. And if we move all the way up to the gloves, they are Petrov Defense Contractors with armor and crit damage rolled into the slot. Looking at the backpack is a Fremers backpack with Wicked, crit chance, crit damage, and crit damage rolled into the mod with a core of array. Um, Fremers is pretty much essential in all, sorry for builds, 10% weapon damage is pretty much unbeatable for any build. Looking at the backpack, you can change that Fremers backpack out for a Golan, for a perfect Wicked, or just regular Wicked. If you want an extra status effects, you can do that. I just thought there was no point because I'd rather just kill you instead of let you bleed longer. Um, so that's just personal preference for me, honestly. You can do that wherever you want with that. Looking at the stat sheet, though. Looking at my FAMAS, it has 59 crit chance, 168 crit damage with 31,785 PvP weapon damage. So that's, that's a pretty decent number. It's not amazing, but it's decent. Um, it's enough to do a lot of damage. If you go to the offensive stat sheet, I do have 40% all weapons and 40% of Sorryful. It's pretty balanced build. I didn't try to stat too much in the damage because, you know, too much of one thing is not good for you. All right, if we switch over to the EB, we do have 54 crit chance and 183 crit damage on the EB with 37,195 PvP weapon damage. Um, Essentially, the EB stats are a little bit more appealing, but I really feel like the more crit chance you have, the better your build. Moving on to the skills, and yes, I know, I still run a shield. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't have the time and the energy for someone to be clapping on my body after they kill me with a shield. I don't have to take patience for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I honestly don't. Looking at the other skills, though, you can run a decoy or you can definitely run an EMP sticky. Any of these skills are definitely viable. You do not have to run a shield. I just like to run a shield because I like to protect. Now the EMP sticky can proc Wicked at range. So, you know, obviously, because Ridgeway is only works within 15 meters. So you need something that can proc that talent at range just in case someone's trying to hold an angle on you. But that's pretty much all I got for this build. Um, it's pretty straightforward build. It's really simple. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out of here. Peace and love, baby. Like my bitch, red bone, ice fat, cello, light skin, yellow, iced out. Pals on the block with them shooters and movers. I ain't gotta do no cap. In the no draw zone, we were grinding up the cake.